Hi there, and welcome to our series on graphs. Now today we're going to learn how to create a bar graph in Google Spreadsheets. Now the example that you see here is a high school mile run competition. And we show the top three winners what the time is for the mile that they ran across the four different classes. Now bar graphs are particularly good at showing categories of data. That is, it's great at showing the differences between data points of each category. Now in this case, our categories would be the, the different high school years, and we show what the difference is between the data points, which is the number of minutes run for the first, second, and third place winners. How do we go about to create this? Well, let's take a look at our data table. In our data table here, we show the four different classes, the first, second, and third place, and their times represented here. Now at this point, if you simply highlight this data range and click on insert, select the chart function here. At this point, we already show in the recommended chart section the bar chart, which is exactly what we're looking for. And so here in this preview, we show exactly what we want, which is the, num the freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior classes here to the left, followed by the minutes run for the first, second, and third place winners. At that point, you can go right on ahead and customize your chart changing the title here, adjusting the legend, making any changes you want to the axis. Now if you want to make changes to the vertical, simply click here and switch now from horizontal to the left vertical axis. And you can also change the colors of the bars. At that point, you simply click on insert and your chart's created. Your end result would look something similar to this. All right, and there you have it. Hello there. Today we're going to take a look at a stacked bar chart. You're going to learn how to create this, and you're also going to understand how this differs from a standard bar chart. So what you see right here is a stacked bar chart. Uh, in this example, we have a mile run training session, and we have two participants, Jason and Matt. And what they're doing is they're counting the number of times they ran a mile in under eight minutes. And they're training for five weeks, so with each week, they're counting the number of times that they achieve this milestone. So in this case, for Jason, um, he did not run any mile under eight minutes in week one. However, as you can see, by the end of week three, he had achieved this five times. So that by the end of five weeks, both of them actually were able to complete this training session 15 times. They were able to run a mile in under eight minutes 15 times. Okay, so this is what a stacked bar chart looks like. If we were to translate that into a standard bar chart, it would look like this. And in this case, again, in our legend, we show for each week um, what the number of times each person ran a mile in in under eight minutes. So as you can see between these, the, the bar chart and the stacked bar chart, the main difference is that the stacked bar chart aggregates everything into one bar. And what's helpful about that is it lets you see the relationship between parts to whole. So I can look at this and I can see that for Jason, he completed this five times out of 15 times in three weeks. So you can say that one third of his accomplishment of his training session was accomplished by week three. Okay, so this gives you a sense of part to whole and it's through a stacked bar chart that you can visually see this. Of course, the same data is presented here, but it's not as evident. Okay, let's see how we go ahead to create this stacked bar chart. Once we have the data here, so week one's through five and the number of times that each person completed um, the less than eight minute mile, you highlight this data range. And we're not concerned about the total here because the, we're, not at, we're not including the total amount in our bar graphs. So we simply highlight this range here and we click on insert and hit chart down below. At this point you have again a series of recommended charts but we want to display a stacked bar chart. So click down here under the bar chart and here in the second option is the stacked bar chart. At that point you look at to the right and you see the preview which is exactly what we have in mind. And at that point just as we've done in the past you can go into the customize tab and make all the different customization options that you'd like before clicking enter or insert. 
And at that point, I'm going to X out here because once you do all that, the end result will look something similar to this. Okay, thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.